of all this self-image stuff also relates to plastic surgery. And I think that plastic surgery is such a reflection of low self-esteem and sometimes of depression. And a lot of the plastic surgeons have to are supposed to turn people away that have some sort of depression symptoms, but they don't, you know, they take the money. And um, it's like for a boob job, the average cost can be up to $15,000. <laughs> 15 grand to look like a blow-up doll like <laughs> you know to have like men look at you a certain way and it's not I don't think it's in a it's like oh she seems smart kind of way <laughs> whoa I totally disagree I love people that have surgery I don't think it's because of their self-esteem I mean it's part of it I mean if you're an A cup and you want to get a little bit more cleavage that's okay I mean some people want to fill their dress they don't always want to put little plastic coverage to like make them look like, puffy. I, I don't I don't know. But why is the way they are naturally not okay? Like why do they mm-hmm. think that it's okay to change your natural shape just to fit a mold? I don't think it's the way they really want to look. I think it's the way they think boys want them to look. I don't think any woman would want to stuff something inside of her body and then just because she really wants to. I think it's because she wants other people to think she looks a certain way. I don't think it has anything to do with her inner, well, I think, how I mean, she looks. And that's, that's true yeah. in a way, too. I mean, I think okay. in general, you want people to say, wow, you look good. Like, you look so great. Your your body looks so, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I think we all yearn for that. Some people, not all people, but mm-hmm. some people want that, you know, voluptuous look, that big butt, those big boobs. Some people want that just because, you know, they don't have it, so they want to look a certain way. I don't know, but I, I mean, yeah. it could it could go back to depression and that. But I think it's just just wanting to look like someone, like having that model look. Right. Or, yeah, and but I don't think that's healthy. I think that they should want to look like themselves. And I mean, I personally, obviously, I've never had to worry about getting implants. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but there have been. Um, you know, I've thought of, like, lipo or things like that. I've always, living out here, you know, I'm like, man, if I had that money, I would get lipo. That's what I used to tell myself. And now that I'm older, and, I mean, I'm 24, I'm not that old. But now that I'm older, I can go, oh, my God, that's sick that I would think that. That, you know, just to get some quick fix when all you really have to do is exercise. Nice. It's, you know, and I think that the plastic surgery that's corrective is a totally different story. I don't disagree. Mm-hmm. I mean, if someone's having some sort of health problem or you know, burn victims or, you know, breast reduction or whatever. I don't think that that's wrong because that's that seems like a different thing mm-hmm. to me. But I think something that's like a vain thing, mm-hmm. like getting implants or lipo or things like that, it just doesn't seem healthy well, well, You know me. what also, too? I mean, there's certain women that get I – know, I know people who get – certain women that get boob jobs, I mean, implants – because you know they're 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 doing certain jobs. So let's say like modeling, and they want to do. Do you need the the boobs for it? I mean, obviously, I'm not saying you want to get that job. Go get boobs. <laughs> yeah. You know. That well, what would, kind of model do they want to be? You know, like, like let's let's say let's say like an alcohol boobs. beverage model. Yeah. You know, you know, you need to have you need to be yeah. curvy. Mm-hmm. And also, I know some bodybuilders, some women, they get so bulky that they need to look a little bit more feminine, so they get implants. So but that, they don't need to look more a certain way. You see, it's just like I don't think you need. You're right. We're, we're putting this, the need. Like, yeah, need it's this. it's just an unnecessary vein. You know, I think it just is. I what it comes down to is low self esteem is what I think because I don't see why anyone would go. I really want to put in something inside of my body that could burst and kill me. I think that's a good idea. You know, I want to go under anesthesia. I want someone to cut me open, stick in some silicone inside me. And so that that's the way I can look to the rest of the world. That's true. Because a lot of the times, like. You don't necessarily want, I mean, I don't think I'll ever be getting any kind of implants or anything like that, <laughs> but I don't think it's entirely for boys. I mean, some of the times it's to feel, make yourself feel pretty, like, forget what everybody else says, like, when you feel good about yourself, like, that reflects on mm-hmm. the rest of the world and how people see you. Some of them always think that it has to do with how boys see you. It's more like how confident and, like, how good you feel with yourself. Yeah, but wouldn't you be confident with yourself if you felt comfortable in your own skin, too. Because I think a girl that has A-cut boobs can still feel confident, you know, if she's correct in the head, you know, that she can still feel 
like a beautiful girl. You don't have to have D boobs. You don't have to. I mean, I got boobs young, you know, and I used to be jealous of the girls that didn't have boobs. So it's always. It's always the opposite. It is. You know? And I just wish that the society wouldn't be so focused. I mean, I know it is, but (laughs) I wish it wouldn't be so focused on how you look to other people. Mm Because. That's where it becomes destructive. That's where the eating disorders come mm-hmm. in, the plastic surgery, you know, the depression. Ten percent of the population suffers from depression. Coming from Demi Lovato's perspective, she knew she came into the entertainment world. She can't mm-hmm. complain in my perspective. First of all, she did the whole tattoo thing. Okay, get over yourself. You did it. I'm sorry. I'm be strong. Not, or okay, be strong. I get it. You're mi- stressed setting out yourself there. But she can't complain that she's depressed because of the public and et cetera when she's putting herself out there. If I was in that situation, I wouldn't put myself out there. I would try to get help first. Well, I think she developed it as she was famous already Mm -hmm. because she became famous so young. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, I mean, none of us know what it's like to be a young star Mm -hmm. like that and to be in the public eye. And, you know, and in a girl's life, I think that there's always criticism on how they look, and then to be in the public eye is magnified like crazy, and I don't think she asked for that, and I think she wanted to entertain, she wanted to be a musician, and then all this other stuff came along with it, and I don't think that's her fault, you know? Mm-hmm. If she wants to stop being famous, that's she can stop being famous, but I don't think that's what it is. I think she wants to stop having people tell her she's fat or (laughs) stop having people tell her she's not good enough. I'll tell you again, like with young girls, oh, you don't have big boobs or you have small boobs or whatever. Mm -hmm. Little little comments bug me bug people so right well it seems i think that the only celebrity like in my own mind when i think of fake boobs the celebrities i think of are playboy people uh pamela anderson you know i don't think of like academy award winner julia roberts you know (laughs) i think of like i don't think of serious kind of people that's the thing so it's like what kind of people are you attracting when you do these surgeries to yourself the fake lips and everything too it's what are you attracting what kind of men are you attracting for the rest of your life you know you said earlier <laughs> that it's men that are so old that they can't feel anymore. 